All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Only. How are my adventures doing? So, welcome back to some more devlog. This is devlog number 24. And in this video, it's going to be us basically finishing the party system and getting it function functioning. Uh, the last video was just making like the basic parts of it. So, you know, it can be there so we can like trade out monster girls anytime like they fade or or anytime they're defeated or already out there it'll to give you a message that this monster girl's already out there etc etc stuff like that but um yeah thankfully i am back it took quite a while to get back because i was supposed to be like constantly keep going during like my Christmas break from work, which was like two weeks, but I got busy during those two weeks. And the only thing I could do was basically stream just to know, just so people can know I'm still alive. <laughs> and plus to hang out with friends and stuff like that. And I got busy with, you know, other IRL stuff. Yeah, this it was it was a pretty interesting break, though. I enjoyed it. But, you know, it's, it's good to be back doing this, working on the project once again. So if you guys aren't familiar with my project that's going on right now, this is a game that I'm making while I also like co-working with a bunch of fiber people who are basically freelance workers that do gigs and you can basically order them. You can basically order from their gigs and they'll make you stuff. That's the shortest part I can just, you know, give so people can understand what Fiverr is. People, you hire freelancers to make you artwork, help you with projects or make a project for you or teach you things, etc., etc. It is very interesting as long as, you know, in the long as you can make a successful gig over the Internet, not just like traveling to people. That's weird. <laughs> But yeah, I, I've been looking for artists and all that ready, you know, trying to figure out what I want to do. Been slowly getting down to basics and, you know, channeling my inner brain and trying to get it to work to see if I want to do for the visuals. Do I want to do 3D or 2D or do I want to do slash 2D and 3D? It's coming down to that. And I'm talking about the overworld art. I'm not talking about like the actual fighting scenes. I'm talking about the overworld. It'll be too much of an issue trying to get like, you know, similar to the current like Pokemon series. And plus, I don't I for some reason, I just don't trust people <laughs> to actually do the designs <laughs> for the Monster Girls. Right. <laughs> I, I just don't trust them. I, I don't know. Maybe in the future, I, I can probably get somebody who, you know, will make it everything down to a key. But at the moment, I just don't trust it. <laughs> so I'm putting more trust into the 2D side instead of the 3D right now. Who knows? Somebody could probably amaze me later on down the fire ro road if I decide I want to try some 3D stuff. 2D is just cheaper, though. So that's also another reason. 3D modeling just costs way too much right now. So this is me also getting like, I'm basically copying like all the party members so it can actually show up on the page. As you can see, I can move between them and it's actually working, navigating just fine. This is basically what this whole section right here is, basically setting up the navigation between it. And this is going to be the confirming. I still don't like Z as as like a, as a key <laughs> personally. That's just me, because when I think to myself of playing like you know our RPG game, I'm thinking of Enter for everything. I, I will probably change that. <laughs> I will more likely probably change that in the future. As of right now, it's gonna it's just gonna stay just to see 
you know, if I can figure out any like control scripts that I can make for people. That's later down down the road, not right now. So around here is where I'm putting in scripts for the party screen, just to show you like certain messages of this monster has already been defeated. And another one that I think is coming up, which is called, oh yeah, this monster is already out on the field or already battling. So we started to change that and I did do a little bit of a trick to where uh, he showed me a code, a code line that actually helped show the monster girl's name that I totally forgot about, but I remembered it. And so I put it inside of, yeah, she's already in battle. I changed the she into the actual like monster girl's name that is currently fighting. Or who's currently, uh, yeah, who's currently fighting. This was, this is, was a fun little session of trying to get the party system work. Cause you guys know, last video was just, like I said, was basically like getting the working inner workings of it done, you know, just graphics, placeholders, stuff like that. Then now we're just finishing everything off. This is the code I was talking about. So what I was thinking to myself, was like, wait a minute, if I can use it here and it says the name, then I can use it up here too. And it turns out I was correct. <laughs> so I'm start slowly starting to, you know, think outside the box with certain things here. This should also be defeated since I changed my coding name. Or defeat. Yeah. Then I put the little money sign to, so it can actually confirm that there's a code inside of this text. The dog sign before the text actually lets you code within it. If there is no code, then just keep it like that. That's basically what I've learned. Then this code is basically pretty similar to this. So we just change a few things. The interesting thing is that these two codes actually play over each other. Just because they're in the same line. So we actually fix it. You know, he actually shows us a way to fix this. And so if you guys haven't realized this is... Well, I've, I put it in like my description of every video. These videos aren't tutorials. They're basically to show progress of how I'm going about everything and things that I'm coding and changing and doing, you know, a few things in my own way and how I'm learning this stuff. Basically a progression video for myself and my future self to where I can go back and just be like, you know, yeah, I am, dude. I remember these early days of myself, <laughs> but, uh, if. You guys didn't watch the other video. I was also talking about like hiring a coder when I caught up on game devs videos to, you know, progress through it by himself as I'm learning through unity. Cause I want to take like a whole learning session so I can just, you know, start getting things going. Why I have somebody, you know, coding in smaller things for the game why I'm still learning. And as I'm learning, I'll start coding in things too. I'm getting the game ready. Most is just going to have them code in like really simple things, like nothing like extremely complicated, really I'm not going to have him code like half of the fucking game or all of the game or anything like that. It's just going to be like, you know, he'll shine in as I'm learning. So it could be a lot. It could be a little, I don't, I don't plan on them to do a lot. Just a few systems now and then just to help out. Yeah, 
And I'll always keep a backup just in case, you know, anything goes wrong. I can kind of revert from what they did. <laughs> All right, so now we get the test and see how it works. All right, navigation is perfectly fine. They died. The next one swapped out. That's still working. <laughs> now. Hold up. I need to make sure because I, I just saw that they died, right? As I said that. Okay, no, I swapped out. Okay, so the swap out system working just fine. Okay, now we're testing out the dying system. Now she dies, and now it tells me to select somebody else. And now we're going back in. Well, we went back in and checked it, and they're all still dead from the last point that they entered battle. So everything's still working for that. And now we're going to be heading on well down the road to changing well his next videos are pretty much actually adding status effects to like your moves and changing the logic to get ready for that i'm probably going to combine those into two videos to where it'll probably be like probably a 15 or 20 minute video who knows but yeah i'm interested in those the most to be honest because making those abilities you know do certain things is what i'm curious of how we're going to be taking on that because i also want you know the monster girls to have passive abilities unique abilities to themselves instead of you know just abilities passed around between you know the monster girls i want them all to be unique have their own unique things that evolve as as they evolve or something like that something close to that who knows? I probably could go down the route of, oh, this trade. Ooh. <laughs> or maybe some kind of like fusion system to where they fuse together and have a chance of getting this. It, who knows? It, there's a lot of possibilities here that I can actually go with. My brain is too large for this knowledge and it needs to stop. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next one. I have too many ideas and I'm curious to explore them. This is going to be too much of an. Well, it seems like a simple game, but. I have an, a very ambitious mind when it comes to this, so ADHD is a bitch. <laughs> it helps, and it also is a curse. With that said, I'm going to call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, peace out.